Doom Open Beta. Is it worth a play? Hi guys, I just want to do a quick video on my experiences playing the beta of Doom multiplayer. Um, just because I'm sure a lot of people want to know. I mean, I've had a lot of requests to do this, so here we go. As you know, I'm an old school FPS arena player. I've played Quake competitively. I played Doom when it first came out, you know. So, who better? Who better? than me to tell you how it is. I'm not being biased at all here. This is just speaking on what this game is. It's advertising itself as an FPS arena shooter. And I'm a connoisseur of that. I played in the UK Quake Championships. I helped host uh, the UK Quake Championships. My clan won the UK Jailbreak uh, Championships. I was a very good Quake player. Certainly not the best. Certainly not in the top 10. Certainly not in the top 20 in the UK. But I was, you know, there or thereabouts in the top 30 or 40. And it was great times. Absolutely great times. So Doom was never massive multiplayer because it was always living under the shadow of Quake but it was still a half decent multiplayer experience. Now they all come from the same stable, the master of the FPS uh, shooter and that is ID Software, John Carmack, John Romero when they used to, uh, when they made Quake you know and this I was hoping would drag that franchise into the modern, modern gaming arena with the technology that we have today and that's what I was expecting. When I started to play this I could have cried tears. The only saving grace is that it's Doom and not Quake because if they ever did this kind of shit to Quake I think I'd do self-harm. I don't think I could cope. I can cope because it's Doom and I always kind of look at Doom as a single player experience. I always look at Quake as a multiplayer experience. I've never completed Quake one or two single player. I don't give a f about them. I bought them specifically for the competitive arena FPS games and played them for thousands of hours. But Doom was always about the single player campaign because the multiplayer was never brilliant. But, you know, 2016, I expect that ID Software are going to say, right, you know what, we've chose Doom to bring into the to the new arena, so we're going to harness what we've learned from Quake and harness what we've learned from Doom, and we're going to put it together and make a kick-ass multiplayer experience. That's what I expected. I expected real guns. I expected everything. I expected a lot, and I got f all. F all, guys. I tell you what, I got. I got Call of Doom. That's what I fucking got. The whole point of an FPS arena game was about spawning in that arena with nothing. Just your sidearm pistol that did f**k all. And everybody else had nothing. Everybody else spawned in f**king naked. Right, we're here. Now may the best skillful player win. And you had to run to the nearest weapon. You had to know where every weapon was. You had to know exactly where the power-ups were. You would grab your weapon. You would utilise the amazing map design of ID Software to corner other players away from your weapon. For example, let me tell you one of the classic maps. You had the real gun, which was a very powerful weapon, which you couldn't spam. It was like one shot every second or so. Very, very hard to master that weapon because you had to be deadly accurate but it did devastating damage when it hit. It was my weapon of choice because I practiced it so well that I got very very good and very lethal on the real gun. But to get the real gun you had to dive into, into some water, swim underwater into a secret room to get it. Now the problem with that was outside of there the rocket launcher was on a ledge so by design. So the player with the rocket launcher could rain rockets into that pool on anybody coming out there with the real gun. The whole maps were designed that way. You had the pineapple gun or the grenade launcher, which was right at the top of a tower overlooking a central arena. So you could rain down grenades onto people. The whole maps were maps with purpose and they were f***ing awesome. You had some amazing battles. A double jump, there was no such thing as a double jump. You had to jump onto the corners and sides of crates to get to the really good stuff. You had to use skill. It took hours of practice to be able to pull it off in the heat of battle. Not now, not now, you just press a fucking button and oh, I'm gonna leap to that ledge and pull myself up. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. And that's what we have with Doom. You can only have two weapons, you can only have two weapons guys. You see in Doom and in Quake, the originals, you had about eight or nine different weapons. Weapon for each situation. If you, if somebody ran into a dead end place, you could fire your grenades in or your rockets in and you splash damage to kill them. If there was a, a, a close quarters battle in a tight corridor, quickly switch to shotgun, bam. You had to utilize the weapons. You had to be good with all of the weapons. But hey, you can only have two weapons in Doom. Two. 
and you choose the fuckers from the off. From the fucking off, guys. From the off. Don't even have to find them. Hey, where'd you get that lightning gun? I just pulled it out of my ass. Same place I got the rocket launcher, actually. Pulled that out of my ass as well. Did you earn them weapons? No. Did you have to go and get them weapons? No. I was given them on a fucking plate like everything in modern gaming. But what's next? X-ray fucking vision. Well, yes, you do have X-ray vision. Because when a player has what I can only describe as it looks as if it's the quad damage, you can see him through the fucking walls. I've been killed by these glowing players who I can see through walls. I, I, oh. What the fuck is wrong with gamers today? What the fuck is wrong with people? Why do you need... And it gets worse. Perks. We've got perks now, guys. If you've played this for hours and hours and hours, you unlock extra armour for yourself. So when the game starts, you start with more fucking armour. You start with more armour than him over there. Oh, yeah. And more weapons. Because, hey, I've unlocked the lightning gun. Do you have the lightning gun? No, I don't. No, I don't. I was hoping to pick it up on the level. And now you won't find it on the level anywhere. I've got it because I've unlocked it. Because I've played longer than you, you f***ing pov. Get good. Get good and play more, you c***t. I hate this game. I hate this game with a passion. I want. I wish it was a solid object so I could wring its f***ing neck. Because this is an insult to every f... It's an insult to Unreal Tournament. It's an insult to Quake. It's an insult to Quake 2. And it's an insult to f***ing Doom. The original. What were they thinking of? It gets worse. Think it can't get worse than that? Oh, sit the f*** down and listen to this one. My bell sounds very, very poor today. You can spawn as a demon. <laughs> yeah, if you pick up the demon rune which comes in, you turn into... Remember the Revenant from Doom 2 with the twin rocket launchers on its shoulders? Yeah, you can be that. Instant f***ing kills on everything pretty much with your twin rockets. Run around the arena flying up the scoreboard because you have this massive f***ing advantage that you didn't earn. Because let me tell you, when you die as that, the other player can pick up the rune that you drop and he can become the Revenant as well. Oh yeah. So let's say I'm with me rocket launcher running around the place and the Revenant comes round the corner half dead because everybody else has been hitting him. I fire one lucky f***ing shot, kill him with splash, splash damage, I get the rune of him. Did I earn it? No. It's not like the quad damage that you have to f***ing earn. I mean, it does still have the quad damage in, so that's fine. But, ah, oh, honestly. And this announcer, this announcer, the announcer needs to be sacked. He's awful. He's just awful. But, guys, it's the game. The whole mechanics of the game, the way the game plays, it's just no longer a, a, a game of skill. It's a game of casual hand-holding wank. That's what it is. And it's awful. Everybody's just running around with a f***ing rocket launcher because they pulled it out their ass. They didn't earn it. They didn't get it. There's no more defending weapons. In the original Quake, you know, in the, in the death match or the duels, you could kind of guard areas where weapons spawn to cut them off from the enemy. It's all, it was all about strategy. Not now. It's all gone. It's f***ed. It's f***ed. It's f***ed. So there you go, guys. That's what I think, and I know it's going to be unpopular, but you know why? Do you know why this is going to be an unpopular review of, well, it's not a preview. I'll tell you why. It's because the vast majority of people that are going to be moaning and whining and saying, oh, you just don't like anything, you just don't understand. It's because they've never, ever played a proper thoroughbred competitive shooter. They don't know what it's like to be thrown into an arena with 10 other players all on the same skill level. No perks, no hand holding, no loadouts, none of that bullshit. Just, there you go, you've got f all. Now let's see you dominate the game and come top because that is the true sense of skill. And there's no games like that now. You want to play a game like that? You're going to have to go and play Quake Arena or Quake 1 or Quake 2. I'm off to the bunger. I'll see you later, but Doom is looking shit. I'm still buying it for the single player because I'm hoping upon hope that they haven't f***ing catered to the consolers for that as well. So there you go, guys. My goodness. Call of Doom. What a pile of shit so far.